hey guys we'll be back to this new video tutorial with osp and so uganda developer in this video to new, new video tutorial i'm going to actually to show you how to create what on us a simple a uh, login form using microsoft office visual studio vba so go go to your files since you don't have a developer tool in your machine already designed go to files go to uh, file go to options and then look for what on us customize ribbon then come in here down and give a tick to your developer tool and then it's okay that implies now you'll be in a position actually to develop what known as your own login form come down here and say visual studio click on visual studio come and say insert new a user form then just resize this user form to the size you would like to wish and i'm just going to insert the what known as the label and i'm just going to call it a simple simple login uh, form just go and change that font so that actually the font looks big 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 i'm just going to use 20 and i'm just going to bring it that in bit in the middle you can change the font type or the format or you can even increase or change the background color and also you can also change the text the format actually would like to use so i would like just maybe to use this one to be red something like that for our simple login form let us just add in one nice another two extra labels this is going to be for username sorry control z i'll just say this is going to be for username I'm just change that onto username this is username I'm just going to drag it down so that actually I have for uh, the one for password too. So this is going to be our password. So let us just hold the control to all of them and actually just change that font uh, to be kind of big. Uh, 16 is kind of good. Yeah, something like that. Then let us just now add one on us a text box to it. So this is going to be the first text box for the username and this is going to be the second text box for the password just like that click on it call the control and then just let us change that font and make it a bit kind of big so that actually someone can simply see what's trying to do now on the one for the password just change the password share character add their share character to our password here give any character of your choice I'm just giving that one a streak. Then now let us just add one on us a single button, which is going to be for one button for exit. And then just pick another button. This is for login. So let us just click this one for exit. Just turn that statement to what known as exit. And then for button, please guys, just change this one to what known as uh, login. So far, those are the two forms that we have so far, guys. And if you happen to run this program, guys, that's how so far we shall be uh, generating so far in this new project that actually we are doing. And when you click any of the button, know where you're going. So, guys, let us just go down and try to add those simple stuffs very quickly. So, right now, if you try to see, double click on this uh, exit and just add one on as me dot uh, me dot hide me dot hide. Sorry for that dot id and that's enough for it so if you click here now and you click here that's just be ending the program just like that that so far is done with we are done with that so far let us now also just come on the login which login now we're going to put some characters on the username guys just click here where they say name for the username or the text box just add the one on us text text to you text to username and then this one for password just come in and say tx text pass password just like that this for the username that for the password so far everything is so far done so guys just coming down here and actually add another insert another second form just resize this form here and maybe just change i'm just going to call it second form i'm not going to add much stuff on it I'm just going to call it one on a second form. Actually, I'm just going to add there one single button. 
a big good big button and I'm just going to call it uh, our second form second form MS Word so this is our second form in our MS Word let me just try to increase that font very fast guys so that guys you can see it very well I'm just trying to use that so kind of bit big so that you can really see what really guys you're going to be doing so let us just come back to our first form double click on this first form and add the following codes say if sorry just come down and type if if text user if text username is equal to what known as I'm just going to say maybe YouTube if text for username is same as YouTube and the password I'm not using here text dot I use text username dot text for certain reason I'm just trying to simplify some work for some guys here around I thought we shall do it in another program and if this one called for password and give it cost one on us uh, one two three and then we end that with then and we'd like it to generate for us one on us a user form form to dot show so just expect this to show for us or pop for us the second neck form and we're going to give you a condition one on us else that implies if that one is verified to be wrong we expect the following else condition actually to give us a message box message box should pop up and tell us wrong wrong username uh, or and password combination and then i just have to end if i end my query very well so guys this is what will happen guys so far if i enter the username as youtube and enter the password as one two three if i click on login the second form pops up like that so good and also if you try to see if i happen to give you a wrong username that's it and i click here it is a wrong username and, and the password combination so it's either wrong username or password combination that actually guys can actually happen to pop up there wrong username or password uh, combination just something like that so this is what i try to mean at the moment guys so if you just click here and this is youtube and then the password is one two three if i click to go to meet second form and if I just change this one, I change the password like that. It has to tell us wrong username or password combination. And you can also just click on exit to end the program. So guys, please, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to OSP channel. I love you guys.